Hello and welcome back to episode 26 of the Rising of Stockport County. I come off the back of playing everything off camera. I've literally been doing it the whole of today. I'm recording this on the Tuesday. The day episode 25 went out. I've literally played all the games off camera now um, because I usually play the games off camera, wait like two or three days, kind of forget what happened and then come back. But no, this time, straight off the bat, I've been playing football manager for the last few hours and I thought I'd finish with recording an episode. Let's just get straight into the games off camera i played a few more than i was supposed to but it meant better games for the games on camera so let's just go through it as quick as possible because last episode was long because i hunched it off camera and it's going to be the same again but i left you um with the three nil away win against grimsby town and then we started with a five nil win against stevenage at home um the spy scoring did has he come back to form maybe um chief with two as well song over nice pen uh, he's got two that day as well they got sending off pretty much opened the game for us and then um, we didn't have a game for 10 days, so I thought I was uh, sticking a friendly against our under-23s, and we got beat. So that wasn't great. And we didn't have a bad team out as well. It was pretty much a load of first teamers, so that was a bit worrying. But we, um, we bounced back in the leasing dot trophy um, north second round with a 4-1 win against Barnsley, who are in the league above us on, in sixth place, which is very promising. Uh, it was actually a great performance, to be fair. Um... Yeah, they, we, we, we we were fantastic. Gambin was unbelievable, the spine scoring again. Um, yeah, it was a great performance. But then we played Oldham, got beat 1-0. Look who it is, Santos Classe. If you remember this guy, you've been watching the series from the start. He was in season one. We had him for seven games, didn't score. It was when Fulham was our affiliate club. Gone to Oldham for two years, and he's doing he's doing all right. Scored against us and won the game for them. So, yeah, that was, that was a slightly frustrating. I was very um, surprised when I saw his name. But, um, oh my, sorry, again, unprofessional, I need to turn the phone off. Um, so yeah, we lost that game, that was frustrating, but then we won against um, Carlisle. Spy with another goal, I'll show you this goal quickly. Yeah, the, 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 the red card was ridiculous, I was about to sub him off and then he goes and gives a handball away in the 80th minute and then it came a bit tense at the end because I just needed to hold on, but we did, we did do that. But um, here's the Spy's goal, hint, hint, he might be back in form, look at that finish, lovely. Um, let me show you that second um, yellow card as well. Watch this. See him. What's he doing? <laughs> can, we, can we get a rewind on that, please? Watch this again. Um, can I slow it down? Right, watch this. The spy crosses. Garrett, nice touch. Swings it in, you know, headed away. What's he <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, the captain's had him there, and he got sent off. And then we won the game anyway, so no too many complaints. And this Warsaw game, right, was actually so frustrating. But before we get into that um, Warsaw game, I should have actually mentioned a few things. Sheaf won Player of the Month and Young Player of the Month, and I will manage the month for November. So I should have really mentioned that. I kind of forgot. I do write things down. I kind of just go off my own. Tantrum of Fitzhugh went out on loan. I think he's injured now as well. Um, went to a National League team. Yeah, then we beat um, we beat Carlisle, like I just mentioned. And then we had a youth take assessment. We haven't had the youth take plays in yet, but we've got the assessment. There's going to be a few good players, I'm hoping. Anyway, that's what they told us. And then, um, yeah, this Warsaw game was really annoying. I'll show you all the goals for this. Obviously, I don't want to do don't want it to be too long, the stuff I did off camera, but it's the spy with a hat trick. Hint, hint, he, he, he got back on form. Yeah, we were three. We were two 0 down. No, we weren't. We were two one down at half time. I wasn't happy with things were going. We took the lead with um, with the spy. Nice little tapping, you know, right place, right time. And then they made it one one, right down the left. Pull back. It's a nice goal that. If you a defensive attack, I don't think they showed you the defensive part then. And they got a penalty. They dispatched that. I was a bit. I was just frustrated. I was like, how we give this away? The mail swings it in. What a header, by the way, by the um, by the spy. And then 84th minute, Plange comes on. He's been fantastic for us. Nuts into spine, like, right, we've got the game here, surely. And then I'm not going to lie, I'll take blame. We were still in attacking because we play attacking, and I forgot to change it to cautious or defensive, whichever I'm kind of in the mood for at the time. And then they got this highlight while we're in attacking, and they scored in the 90th minute, which was frustrating. So we dropped points against Warsaw away. I kind of, I'll take blame for that. I'll, I'll put my hands up. And then we've got a DeMeo uh, transfer offer. Can I have a look at it? Is it there? Don't think it is, but we had they had an offer for him anyway, and we rejected it because I don't want Demeo to leave just yet. Still think he has a place in the team. 
with us, and then we played South End and we got beat 1 0. Again, just frustrating, really. Not not much really happened in that game. It was just they scored one and we just couldn't quite get back into it. We had a few chances, but yeah, we just struggled. Um, see the stats again, you know, we were always getting shots away and, and all that, but like it just wasn't enough, really. We just didn't do we just didn't play well enough, and if you don't play well enough, you don't win games. So, yeah, yeah, and then the Spire won player of the month. Uh, for December, obviously only four games. Not the greatest amongst four, as we've definitely we definitely had better. And then, um, and they, yeah, oh yeah, because it was the new year. Offered, and Hugh joined his Hugh, seventy one k. We paid one hundred five for him. Seven games, one goal, three assists, seven point three one rating, average rating. He's been fantastic for us recently at the start. Um, even though he's not scored and assisted too many, his like he's average rating seven point three. That's amazing. He's been really good for us so far, and he's not even on the pitch right now because Garrett played the last one. And here he is, offered, got 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 his first goal, which you'll see later on. Um, scored one one assist as well. The it, his goal was actually assisted by Hughes, which was uh, great to see. He's been fantastic for us again. What's his what is his average rating so far? Seven seven point two six exactly. Fantastic average rating. So yeah, them two came in obviously from from we signed them before, which I told you about last episode. If you haven't seen that episode, please go and watch it. Or at least go and click on it, so I get some um, get some views on it. And um, yeah, new contracts have been offered to some players, which you'll um, which you'll know about come the end of the season. When um, you don't need to know who's got a new contract. All you need to know is when it comes to the end of the season, who's going to be leaving for free on a contract that I've just not given out because there was loads of players. There's about 10 or 15 players I gave contracts to and some I just haven't. So when it comes to the end of the season, you'll know who hasn't got contracts. That's what you need to know mainly. You don't need to know who's signed new contracts. You just need to know who's going. So, um, yeah, signed them to a lot of players and we played Doncaster away. Good 3-1 victory there. Mark with a goal. The Spy again and McAlinden also to score to wrap up the three points. And then a very unfortunate 2-1 loss to Rochdale in the next round, in the third round of the Leeson Dot Trophy. This is where we had to say goodbye to this trophy. Um, just a bit little too 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 little too late. Plange came on, I think, for Souza because Souza's been playing horrific. Uh, he might not be here for much longer, Souza, because he's been playing really bad. Um, yeah, he played, came on, got a goal for half an hour to go. We really did push and we had a few chances. I think we had a chance near the end. Um, I will, I'll let you see. I'll let you see the goals for these. Um, yeah, it was frustrating because we, we can see we all can see early because these are the league above, but they're near the bottom. But I was like, oh, okay, right. Rav asked for a mistake. He was in net for that game, and then they went forward in the fiftieth minute. Two goals down. The best we can get is a draw. Again, Rav asked again. Could you point fingers? And then anyway, so Plange came on straight on. Look, Nick the ball. Great finish. And I think there was a chance near the end. Was it this corner came in? Garrett, no, it wasn't. Where was the chance? We had a slight chance near the end. Was it here? If it's not here, then I'll just move on. But I swear we had a chance. Senior, this is starting to come back to me. No, I can't find it. But I think we had a chance near the end, but it just wasn't enough. And then we played Bradford at home. 84th minute winner from McAlinden. Fantastic to see. Then we played Bristol Rovers at home. I've even put in brackets show all goals, and I'm going to because this game was slightly mental. Just you see an own goal. Just what I think there's two of the goals that I keep are, that keeper mistakes. I'm just like, how has that happened? So here's the first one, thrown down the line, McAlinden. Oh, plays it back to his keeper. Oh my days. And then I don't think this one's a mistake. Now this is a good Hughes goal. That's his. That's his only goal. Here it is. I think it's another mistake. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's... Wow. We went a few episodes without one of them. It's quite impressive. Dogs returning again. Um, Sorry about that. <laughs> Happens every... Well, we've gone a few episodes without that, but um, yeah. That, that was a bit of a, just a random game. And then the team I always want to beat... Salford, and we did again. I'll show you the goals for this game as well. <clears throat> See, Offord's goal, um, obviously from left back, it's fantastic. Spy with two goals again, he's really struck form. The Spy, once again, Hughes with the nice ball, good header, lovely. Crowd goes wild, and then Senior dinks into Graham over the top to Spy. Oh, come on, <laughs> what a finish! Can't get much better than that. And then um, they scored their consolation before our time. Good ball, this actually, right around the goal. Look at that, that's a perfect ball. Maybe um, the right-back senior going to sleep a little bit there. Then Hughes in the box. Offered 
Hughes, he got to assist that game, and look at that finish, weak foot, Pfft. unbelievable stuff. Um, and then we got beat to home at the Leighton Orient, again, a frustrating game, we really should have won that, but that was not the frustrating loss we got off camera, it's the one coming up. Um, yeah, then we played, uh, nothing happened off camera until uh, for the rest now. Plymouth at home, they're currently ninth, which is decent, but oh my word, we're bad in this game. We scraped a last minute equaliser by um, by Conor De Mayo. Um, obviously, we dominate every game, but um, if you don't take chances, then you don't win football matches. And this was nearly one of them. We got away with just a point here. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we deserved anything. They got a nice little goal, you know. You know, not the nicest goal I've ever seen, but offered. Look at this. Crosses. Senior back into De Mayo. Lovely finish. Nicked a point. And then we got an away win against Morecambe. Two two spy goals against me on fire. The spy um, off camera. He wasn't great off um, um, on camera before. And yeah, we won that game, and then we somehow lost two 0 to ten men Mansfield at home while we had our strong lineup out. Right, these are nineteenth in the league. They were twenty first when we played them until they got those three points. And even at ten men one nil up with twenty minutes to go, I'm thinking, right, we surely got to nick a point. They go and get another eighty ninth minute, and then we lose the game. I know you can have those games sometimes, but 21st, and we are now, as I'll show you, second in the league, going for the title, and we're dropping points to 21st. Just doesn't sit right with me, that one, because it's a bit like, well, how's that happened? But anyway, that's where we finished off camera. Obviously, we played three games into the month of February, so it's going to be at the start, but you didn't want to see those, because I didn't see those games draw, uh, win, loss, but we're going to play these games, Tranmere, I did promise you that one, 6th place, Oldham who are 3rd, and then Cambridge who are 22nd, and hopefully we don't slip up like we did in the game against Mansfield, so let's get into the first game of the episode, hopefully that wasn't as long as the last episode intro, um, we're going to go with Offord at left, back, Platt is now reinstated, is placed back in the lineup. Um he plays majority over Kimito, but he has, um, he did... He's actually wanted by a lot of teams. Whoa, I did not know that. Yeah, he wanted more game time, so I'm, just, I'm giving it him. He, he has been giving it um, recently. Hughes has been fantastic. Asante, in the last game, has been brought back in. He's been doing fantastic for the under-23s. Like, really good. Look at his value, 89k. So he's going to be on the bench. Phillips, no, no. Anyone I'm missing out on? McAllen's injured. Osborne's injured. Fitzhugh is also injured for seven months as well. He's on loan as well. Yeah, like Maynard, Smith-Brown... Minihan, I mean, you it. Some of these aren't getting contracts, so you'll find out at the end of the season. Robson, Brookin, is he gonna get on the bench? Uh, yeah, we'll put him on for Phillips. Phillips as well. He's he's one of the ones who signed a new deal. Um, he's not playing too much, but yeah, we'll go with that for the starting eleven. Everyone seems half fit, so you know, I think they'll be able to play the full game. Obviously, I want to ho hopefully show showcase a bit of Hughes. For you, how good he was. Obviously, it took a bit of time for you to show, for me to showcase how good Sheaf was, and now I'm now he's starting to show why we did pay the um, the 90k for him. Obviously, look at his stats as well for this season. Um, 12 appearances, 16. Um, I think off the bench, six goals, two assists. You know, played really well this year. So if obviously won a player of the month as well. In what month was it? It was November. So yeah, let's just get into the game. We've got three games for this episode. They could be big games to see where we go in the. Um, in the title hunt, obviously, I think top three are automatic. Um, I'm not sure that could be talking rubbish. I have to actually try and research that, but obviously, our main aim is first. I wanted first at the end of the season because we've got the squad for it because we have actually been backed by our owner. And um, in full manager, I think that's all you need backing. But I've been watching all these called Bood FM. If you want to check out the Unstoppable County series, he does one as well. Very similar to mine. Started it just after mine. Obviously, he's not copied mine. He, um, he lives around the Stockport area. And, um, yeah, he's been doing really well, and he's not been backed at all. His tram may could be scoring. Oh. That's what we have mentioned it before. First goal of the season, and it has to come against us, obviously. Oh, he's not even playing much for them. From Tottenham, our affiliate, and he's got him on, and he's had a contract. Yeah, okay, right, fair enough. Right, they bought him for him, or they got him for free. What did they get him for? Have a free what bargain that is. 
Uh, yeah, anyway, so he does an FM series and he's got no backing, like, no money, not nowhere near, not, not, literally gets zero every year and he has to like scrap off free, free um, transfers and loans. But fortunately for us, we've been given the flip side of being given money. That's why I'm trying to build for the future and actually get bringing players on permanence that are going to be here for the future, not just loan players that might only be here for one or two years and then we don't see him again. So put it wide again. So yeah, we've been lucky in this save, which I'm very happy about because I love spending money on FM. Especially as a lower league club, you just feel a bit special because you, <laughs> you've got all this money and some of them don't. We're going to go at half time. It looks like we're going to go 1 0 down. This is a big game as well against Tramme, who would go fourth with the three points against us today. I'm going to go aggressive and say I expect much better in the second half because we don't think we had a highlight in that first half. Souza again, man, and Plange. Plange has been very. Look at all. Yeah, everyone in it. Look at that. 6.3s all around. That's shocking. Demand more. From the player ratings we're getting, yeah, we don't deserve anything from this game. That is first goal of the year, no, won't surprise me. From these player ratings, this is nothing less than what we deserve. Souza, he's been absolutely shocking for us this year. We're going to go to up front, Asante on. Go press him, we'll go support. Um, we'll bring off plunge as well. We'll go narrow. Been playing this a few times, so um, off camera, it's not really worked. But um, but yeah, and the senior is also a bit tired, so we'll bring on Brookin as well at full back. So we made a triple change, hoping that might change something. But at this rate, doesn't look like it is because we have played horrific all round. This is not great to see to start the um, on camera games. <laughs> Crying out loud. Ugh. Not even gonna get. Have we had a highlight this game? Like attacking highlight. I don't think we did. No, we didn't. We did not get an attacking highlight. Well, what a way to start off the the episode. Um, a awful two nil uh, two nil defeat, where we didn't even get a highlight against Tramir. So we slipped to third. We've got a game in hand on, a few, on everyone around us. So that's that's good. But if we play like that, then we won't be making any kind of use of the. Um, of the game in hand we've got, but we do play Oldham third v second massive game. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of um a lot of plays suggested to me, but I've not really bit at any yet. No no crazy offers from me as of yet, like I like I usually do. Yeah, we didn't get an attacking high that's worrying that. It's a good job we're at home for the next game. Um I wanted to show you how good Hughes was and how, you know, yes it was a bit of a overpayment of what we had to get him for but he's been playing well for us, and then you go and do that. Frank Mulhern, that's good, man. That's performance. He hasn't signed a new deal with us as of yet, because Asante has been doing so good, so we don't need Mulhern for next year, especially if we're in League One as well. So he will be released alongside a, a load of other players, so he won't be the only one. Um, Cambridge 5 0, but what a win against Cheltenham. It's decent from Cambridge. Decent. Yeah, <laughs> Duff got sat by. Um, Cheltenham after that game, no surprise there when you're getting batted 5-0 against a team right above the drop zone. Well, yeah, we're just going to load into the Oldham game as soon as possible. Hoping for a much better performance than what we got in that last game. That was truly horrific. We have second and third. Then it kind of gave us an easy game to finish off open if anything goes wrong. We have a 22nd in the league game to play. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I cannot believe I missed this. How did I forget to tell you? Well, if you're still here, and you're still watching, I got a job interview offer from Carlisle. Um, they sacked Phil Neville, funnily enough. And um, and they offered me the job. That was after the youth intake. And it's after, it's after we played Carlisle and we beat them 1-0. Uh, they're now 20th. I think they were a bit higher when they sacked Neville. Um, but yeah, they offered me the job. Obviously, I just declined it straight away. And we've actually played him soon. Um, that's that's funny enough. I can't believe I forgot to say that. But yeah, that's what happened. Literally didn't even go into the interview or anything. Looks like he's a player, Mark Shelton, for not very much. But we've got to remember we should be hopefully a League One team next year. So we don't want to be getting these uh, League Two players. We want to be looking for League One Championship potential players. So um. Yeah, this is uploaded on the um, on the Thursday. Um, the com none of the commentary is going to be on the Saturday of Liverpool versus Arsenal. Commute Shields, make sure you listen to that. And there should be a podcast on the Sunday 
Um, I should be recording that hopefully tomorrow, but I might get it out earlier. I might push back this episode to Friday instead and put the podcast out on Thursday because a lot's happened today on... on, um, on it's Wednesday, isn't it? In my head, I think it's Tuesday. What day is, it's Tuesday. Wow. So yeah, let me go through that again. So hopefully, I'm going to record the podcast tomorrow night, upload it Thursday, and then upload this Friday, the commentary Saturday. So hopefully you're going to get Wednesday, no, Thursday, Friday, Saturday uploads, hopefully, all being well, so make sure you subscribe for those videos. Right, Sousa, bye, see you in a bit. Malcolm's fit, he's been good this year. He's been quite injury prone, he's been injured quite a bit. Um, if we can have a look, yeah, look, he's had um, got one in pre-season, then got one here. Well, there's not too many injuries, not big injuries, but they've just like had an effect. So obviously, the the, um, the partnership here isn't great. Bring in Kimito at the back. Their partnership isn't great. This is fantastic, isn't it? No one's liking each other other than Senior and Malcolm. Um, Graham hasn't been great for us recently. I know he's a captain, so he will stay in. I still want to try and show off Hughes to you. The spy can't stay as well. Anyone deserving of a spot on the bench? McLundin's still slightly injured, so we'll let him f fully recover. I'm going to put him back in the under-23s, because he said he was ready for the first-team football, but he was shocking when he, we played him. He's going to have an issue with that. He, he is... But I don't care because he was so bad. He got a yellow card in the first two minutes. Um, yeah, right. If he has a problem, we can get rid of him because I don't care because he was so bad when he played the only game I remember. He got a yellow card in two minutes. Got him on a free from City. If he wants to go, that is fine by me. Um, but I think this is the team we're going to go with. Again, only the one change. I am going to be looking for a left winger, I think, in the, um, in the window because Gambin has been fantastic for us. But he keeps getting injured as well. So we'll have a look at his. He's been fantastic for us this year. Only three goals, but he's been good. But, um, yeah, three weeks, seven days, three weeks. Um, yeah, so just three-week injuries, but they're just annoying to have to deal with. But let's get into the second game of the episode. If you like these longer episodes, let me know in the comments down below. Good passionate. I'm going to say the media have been giving you a lot of praise. I don't think they have, but let's go and show them what we are made of. But yeah, let's just hope for the best here. Anything better than the last game, I think we'll do. There he is, Santos Classe again. Hopefully he doesn't come to um, to haunt us again. As Hughes has won it, here we go. Come on, Hughes, you need to show us what you can do, pal. Yeah, great ball it. What a... S yes, plunge! How do they, how do they give the spy the assist there? Yeah, eyes in the back of his head. He, tr he, he meant to flick it back to Plange. Off the, was that a saver off the post? If that was a save, that was ridiculous. Yeah, came off wood and then Plange was there to stick in the rebound. He's been good for us. Didn't really get in the lineup the first few months. This is Graham who strikes. Again, it's another rebound to Malcolm who scores in one of the biggest games of the season so far. We've got off to a great start, much better than the last game. Yeah, plans. He didn't really get involved much, but the fact he can play up front and on both wings, he's been a real help to us. And I'm very happy that he's performing the way he is. Again, not worth too much. Only 27k. Got him on a free from Arsenal. But he, and again, the stats don't really say much. But I mean, when I say they're a good player, I don't really go off stats. It's what I see when I do the stuff off camera. Like, are they contributing? Are they getting good average ratings? Sometimes they don't score, but as long as they do all right and, you know, be involved in the moves, then that's what I mean when I say, like, oh, he's been good for us. Not The stats I don't always go off too, too much. If we can get three before half-time, that'd be beautiful. And it's Shotton's first goal on loan from West Brom. And look who's got that assist. It is Hughes. Reese Hughes, lovely ball to the back post. Fine shot on. Nicely, head, nicely headed in. I think he might have just been offside there, but shh, don't tell the older manager who is... John McGreal. Yeah, just don't sell him. We'll be all right. As it is half time, we are up 3 0. Not going to lie. Did not see that coming at all. We will be put to second with a game in hand where we could go level with a South End on points at the top. He's got another highlight here. Malcolm, who's been good for us this year, strikes it just low and wide off the post. But looks like everyone's having a cracking game so far. 
half an hour to go. I'll bring on Brooke, Brooke in again for senior because he's um because he's just getting sharpness up a little bit. Um, bring on DeMeo as well actually for Graham as well. Give them to a run out for the last half an hour or so. As they've got a free kick, whipped in, headed and in by Jack Baldwin. We need to be careful. Nice header, nothing Trafford could do about it. But let's just, you know, let's be careful because if they get another, haha, <laughs> Santos Class A has been taken off. But if they get another, anything that can happen. Well, they've had a better possession, not by much, but we've had more shots. And can they get that second goal that they are craving to find a good foot? foothold in the game. Have you just seen that challenge? It's going to be a red. Can I saw him off? Can I... <laughs> uh, what can we do? He's about to get sent off. Let's just let it, let's just let it happen. Go on, Malcolm. You're doing so well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't need to be a genius. See, that's a red card. Um, we'll put the plunge up front, actually, of the spy. Let's go with that. I think we should be okay. I'm going to go cautious as well. We know what happened... Last time, when I was saying off the off camera, when I didn't do that, and it looks like that we've strolled to a nice three-one victory. The only negative is that Malcolm is out with a silly red card, but when playing Cambridge, you are at twenty-second, so we should be okay without him, hopefully. But that Mansfield result didn't really put us in the great greatest of light. But we are currently second. They did um, predict us eighth before the season, but we knew we wanted to finish near the top because we knew we had the team for it. Yeah, but this is, you know, this is how we do um, press conferences. Kind of go for it. Malcolm, I'm not even, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find him two weeks wages because that was a horrific challenge. That was actually so bad. But yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get shot in on a permanent. I think we just have to keep loaning him until they don't let us have him anymore because I, he, he's worth a few million. That's what they value him at, which is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, he accepts a fine. Good job. Yeah, if we have a look now. Look, he's valued at that. And then suggest terms, 1.7 million. We don't have that money. Don't quite have that money. So <laughs> hopefully if we can get him on loan for next year for the League One, that would be fantastic. And hopefully we'll get some Tottenham lads as well, as they are our affiliate club. I'm hoping to keep them on board. They haven't given us anything as of yet. But it's better than having QPR affiliates, where we, which we didn't even use anyway. Yeah, there's a Sante there. It's again, was that hat trick? Hat trick. He's been he's been he's been insane for the um for the under twenty threes. Asante, that's why his value's gone so high up. Well, I love having another twenty three. You can just throw all the players are unhappy in there, so they don't complain about like not getting games because they technically are getting games. Strachan sat by Plymouth. Gordon Strachan is that? My word, his career's gone on a down. Look at that Coventry, who were a big club back then. Southampton, Celtic, Middlesbrough, Scotland. Dundee technical technical director and then Plymouth manager gets sacked. Not great, that is it, really. But we're going to get into the last game of the episode. Shot and gets in the team of the week. It's good. Cambridge, obviously, smashing it there with the team of the week. And we've got to play them now. So let's see if we can we can beat them. Obviously, with no Malcolm. But we're going to go with a Sante. Is a Sante okay to play? Because he did just play for the under 23, so he might not be fit enough. No, he's not quite fit enough. Is McAlinden okay to come back? Yeah, he is. So we'll put McAlinden, play him on the left wing, actually. And we'll put Plange on the right. Malcolm obviously can't play. So we will put... Philip... No, we're going to have to put Suzer, aren't we? I don't want to put him on, but he's been so bad. Um, we'll put... We'll actually play Phillips for this game, because obviously... I can't wait for this next sub when we get a homegrown player. But... um. Obviously, um, we because we've got so many defenders, we need to give them equal playing time, which is awkward. And obviously, when we're playing Cambridge, who are quite low in the league, it's perfect to play the the the, the, the less favoured centre backs. And Phillips is one of them. But we're going to go with that lineup. Set any instructions needed. Say pick away left off, and let's just get into the last game of the episode. Obviously, like I said, uploaded on the Friday. So you so the podcast is out actually. Duh. So make sure you listen to the podcast. It'll be a really good listen because so much stuff has happened. There's Messi, Maguire, the England squad. There's just a lot of stuff going on. Good save, Trafford. Got away with that one there. Yeah, then the commentary obviously on Saturday, the Community Shield. Make sure you're there for that as well. Obviously not much of a break. 
between the end of last season and the Champions League and the start of this season with the Community Shield as plan swings it wide. More football, more commentaries. I'm happy with that, as it is the spy again. Really struggled at the start of the season. He's really picked it up with 17 goals for this year. His record for us is ridiculous. Chipped in by Hughes, great ball, flicks on by Shotton. Open goal for the spy to put it home for 1-0. Look at that, 51 appearances, 34 goals. That is ridiculous return. That's ridiculous. I think that just puts top of the league right now, because obviously it's the only game. It's our game in hand that we have to play. And goal difference... We are ahead as it's plans. What's ahead? I'm so happy with how this guy's playing. Hughes again is a set piece specialist. This guy, how many assists has he got for us now? Check in a second. What a header, by the way, by plans. He's been really good for us. He just on side. I think he's the red. Well, let's have a look at have a look in the Hughes' assist in a minute. But he has been good. We did have to overspend a little bit for him, but we have the money for it. And he's been fantastic. Yeah, he himself while I was offside. Let's just quickly have a look at Hughes' assists. Four in the league. That's it, and one goal. I thought there'd be more. <laughs> but he's still been great for us. Plans, he's got a bit of a knock. Gash, who's lower leg. I'm hoping he can continue. I'll take him off at half time just to be safe because he has been good for us this year. Better than I thought he was going to be anyway. Too easy, that. Too easy. Good save again. Trafford's kept us in it with the saves. But yeah, we'll take off. Um, we'll take a plunge at half time. There's no need to take any risks of. Um, of overplaying him. So Souza can have a chance again to redeem himself. Cause he's not he's he was unbelievable for us last year. No one can deny he was he was so good for us last year to get us promoted to this league. But he's just not been great. Really is oh the spas wild shot. But yeah if we look at his stats, you know, three goals, four assists and thirteen league appearances, which isn't bad. But it's just his overall contribution in games. He just doesn't get enough high enough rating a lot of the time and it's just annoying. Cambridge off the line, please. Oh, my word. How's that not gone in? Cambridge have been unlucky in this game. They've really pushed us. You know, it's been a level game. You've got to respect Cambridge for that. You know, they need. They know they need to be trying to stay up if they can. They're just outside the relegation zone, but they give us a good game. I cannot deny that. As we're going to get Sheaf on for Hughes, give Sheaf a run out. Not really played much this game. And who else is going to play? Uh, we're going to bring on Kinmito for shotting as he's a little bit tired and I don't want to risk shotting our best centre-back because there's no need when we've pretty much got this game wrapped up and we definitely will now when we're about to score. Look, we're about to score. Let's give it a second. Kimito into Souza. I bet he's got... Nah, can't even score that, can he, Souza? He's, he's really struggling, isn't he? Ah, so, well, it doesn't matter. It looks like we're going to be going for the victory anyway. Hopefully, come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't think there'll be another high. Like, oh, yes, there will. Oh, Phillips. Right into the... To, oh, it's not Rose Edit. It's not a Rowie, isn't it? But still. Can we possibly go on Suza? Send it around the corner. Sheaf. Ah, lazy. Didn't want to run enough. <laughs> Kimito. Go on, Suza. Love that. He's actually played well, hasn't he? Since coming off. Graham, the spy. McAlinden. Poor shot. And I think that will be full time as the keeper doesn't even have to kick it as it's already blown for... Full time again. Not the greatest of performances in terms of the score, but I mean, we had, we did what we had to do and we won the game. No repeat of that Mansfield two 0 uh, defeat where they had ten men. But um, great that that injury isn't serious at all. Only three to six days, better than a few couple months, like it could have been. But we will just simulate to the Carlisle game. Which doesn't seem like what it does. Jerry Yates a forward. No, we're all right. We don't need any more signs till next summer. I'm hoping they give us a massive budget. Imagine. I'd be so glad if that is true. Yeah, unlikely for the call. But yeah, no surprise. He's not been good enough this year. He was great last year. He was really unbelievable and he just went to nothing. I just want to check something. I don't know why it's just come to my head. I want to check Nuneaton and see if they've still got Kuya. I don't know how to do, do they? I can't remember how you spell Kuya. Like, how you spell his. Is it like that? I'm really interested how you. Um, is it like that? I really can't remember. I'm really intrigued to see. Oh, 
Oh, I wanted to see how he was doing. I've just not missed him, have I? I'm just not being a bit of a bit of an idiot and just completely missing him. He's in the 23s. No, he obviously must have left or retired or something. Cause for some reason, they retire as soon as you let them go. Even at the age of 26, if you release them at like these levels of like National League and League 2, just retire on this game. I don't know why. I don't know if that's just to help the game move a bit quicker with the um, with the um, with the database. I have no idea, but they just retire and that's it. But um, despite one interruption from the dogs, um, a loss, two wins. I think it's been quite a successful episode. Um, obviously, we're going to go for the league. I think we'll win it. I'm not going to lie. Secretly confident we're going to we're going to win the league. And then obviously that's where we should be because this we've got a really good team. And I've been saying this since the start because. With the money we had and the loan signings we've brought in from last year, we've been able to keep a few of them and sign some permanently. We've got a good enough squad for League One. And then this this game, I, 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 I want to discuss this. Oh, look at this, eh? On camera, beautiful. 17th in the League, Cheltenham. Let's attend. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Never going to attend that. But yeah, I feel like this game has become a little too easy. It's like... I don't know if Peel gets that handed to for a two-match ban further. That's a bit uncalled for. Is at Kyle Lyle? And then obviously I will go to the schedule and find out who we're going to be playing off camera. We're near the end of the season now. I feel like FM this year has been a little too easy when it comes to this kind of stuff because if we, depending on how much money we get and the signings we bring, obviously we, we might be, be, be looking at going straight up to the championship depending on the squad we have, but I've seen a lot of saves this year because I do watch a lot of football manager videos and it's just seemed too easy. It's like that Bood series I'm talking about. Make sure you go and check that out. It's like, the father, the, the father, the scarf my father wore, it's called, and he's doing very similar to me, and he's in, like, League One, and he's had no money. And he even mentioned, is it maybe this too easy this year? And I've had a few instances, and in some of my series where it's been too easy, and then sometimes it's been too hard. But I hope it's not one of those series where it's just really easy to get to the championship, because I do want it to be a bit of a, you know, a, 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 like a, a challenge. Obviously, uh, League One, I think, will be our hardest season, but... I think when we get to the championship, I think that's when it'll get really difficult for us, and I'm hoping it does open. We just don't crush it to the Premier League. I don't think we will, but we've got we've got to face League One first. We've got to get out of League Two, so I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. But um, for the games off camera, I will come back for the last three games of the episode, which should hopefully be always getting promoted. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games off camera. And then look at this last three games. Third place currently. Away, fourth place currently at home, and then away to Bristol Rose, who are eighth currently. What a last episode. What a last three games for an episode, for a season anyway, as that will be for episode 27, and we should have the end of the series because we're in no cup finals, and we shouldn't be in any playoffs. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Make sure you check out the podcast from yesterday, the commentary for tomorrow, and um, make sure you check out the next episode of this season, the series for... The end of season three. I'm going to go with next Tuesday. Or I'm going to go with Tuesday. Hopefully. I'm going to go with that and let's just see. If it's uploaded any other time, it will be. So make sure you've got to subscribe so you know when it goes in your sub box. Other than that, hope you like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next episode of The Rising of Stockport County. <laughs>